going to take a look at the T-Rex 470 LM rotor head. Just a real quick setup tip on how to build this thing. First off, orientation of all the parts. Align rotor block here in the middle. When it's put together, the Align logos will be up. Um, swash driver arms, the Align logo will be up. And if I can change this view here, the swash driver arm itself, the plastic ball link, has the number 4 facing out. This is a T-Rex 470. That's how all your pieces will go together when you're done. Tools you're going to need. 1.5 millimeter driver. That's for majority of the bolts. You're going to need a pair of 2 millimeter drivers are going to be used for taking the spindle out. And you're going to need a 1.3 millimeter driver. I have an RC logger set here. 1.3 is used on these four bolts that hold this plastic arm in place. Taking the parts pretty straightforward. A pair of 2 millimeter drivers. This is a smaller version of all of the current Align rotor head, so it goes together pretty much identical. It'll typically come with one bolt loose on the spindle shaft and one bolt tight. I take the spindle shaft out, typically, and I would grab it here in the center with my ball link pliers and disassemble the far bolt just so I can make sure. So you'd actually have to grab it like this to get the the bolt out. I've already had this one out, but you're going to want to make sure that you can get lubrication into this thrust bearing um, and then reassemble it. The sequence you use is really up to you. So what I've got here, there's the aluminum spacer collar going back together. I'll put this like this. I've lubricated this shaft slightly already. I'm just going to slide back in. That means I've lubricated the dampers in the center. Dampers reassemble. Opposite spacer collar. And then we can look at the grip itself. So when I take the, the grip apart, we're going to have to pan in just a little bit here. This is a tiny version of all of the other Align rotor heads. So we've got, if I can get this here, spindle bolt itself with the spindle washer. We've got the outer race of the thrust bearing. You notice it says out right here. Then we've got the thrust bearing itself. This is what's called the obverse side. You're going to put synthetic lubricant on here and this goes to the inside of the head. So the head assembles with this facing out. This is the outer side, the closed side, the open side faces in. So sequence wise we would have spindle bolt, washer, outer race without facing out and then this piece going here. So I'm going to assemble my put the outer race on my tool here and I'm going to put the closed face of the bearing against the outer race. This can all get panned back out for you. I'm going to slide this back on. I am going to put the bearing stack back in against the main shaft here and this will just drop into place. I'm going to put a little bit of thread lock on my spindle bolt and bring this all back together. Should assemble nice and smooth, tight. You don't have to over tighten the CR small bolts, but they do torque down. Everything should move nice and smooth. Continuing on, on each side, you're going to want to pull the grip bolt, the ball link on the grip, I'm sorry, and we'll go ahead and Thread lock that. Okay. You're going to do that, repeat that on both sides. And then you're going to work on the swash driver arms themselves. Now we're going to leave the long bolts here loose for the moment. We do not need to thread lock this yet because these bolts here will act as a pinch once the main shaft is installed. So we won't thread lock these until we actually install the main shaft itself. What you are going to do is thread lock the swash driver arms, the plastic bearing, the, the plastic arms here, they've got a bearing and a very small bolt. I can pull that out. That's what the bearing looks like, the bolt sticking through it. I'm just going to touch a tiny bit of thread lock to that and bring that back in. Okay, and you're going to repeat that process 
for all four of these bolts. There's one on each side. So that when it's all said and done, the line logo's up, line here, the line logo up here, and the number four out. That's your assembly sequence. To review, you're going to thread lock ball links. You're going to disassemble the grips, pull them out. You're going to uh, put lubricant on the thrust bearings on each side. You're going to lubricate the spindle shaft and the dampers. You're going to reassemble with thread lock on the bolts on each side. Then you're going to thread lock all of the, the four bolts holding the, <clears throat> the swatch driver arm in place. And then we'll get these last pieces once we assemble the head. Thanks.